and welcome to Zazumi. I'm Sherry Barbera. And today uh -oh. we are talking about how to make money using YouTube, not on YouTube, using YouTube for your business, which I love. So I'm bump, gonna jump over. Wait, to don't jump. Oh. <laughs> Look, at, I'm in December, and I'm Sal, not ready yet. Sal is in some kind of summer month, like June or July. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, how to make money using YouTube for your business? How? Huh? There are five ways. The first one is to focus on the content your customers love, and I know that sounds really simplistic, but it's not. The second one is to marry your product to a specific lifestyle, and I am going to show you an example of this. Market your brand everywhere you can is number three. Number four is to sell branded merchandise that your viewers relate to. And it's different from just selling branded merchandise, branded merchandise that your viewers relate to. Okay. You mean like number a cow? Five. You want a, a cow? What? Branded Wait. merchandise, a cow? Why do you say a cow? Because it's branded. Oh man, I am so slow. <laughs> really <laughs> silly mood. I'm in a really silly mood tonight, so be prepared. That's okay. why I'm going to be all the, the whole. Good. Thing. Good. Fine. Film exciting sponsorships, events, and endorsements that relate to your customer. So let's get right into it. Here is the top example. It's one company and they are truly the top example because they're crushing it on YouTube all five ways. Mm. Let's start with number one. Focus on content your customers love. How do you do that? The first thing you want to do is you want to zero in on who your customer is and what they like to do. How do you find your real customers? Well, you find them with live research. What do I mean by live? Events, webinars, groups like meetup, associations, community things. Where do you actually interact with real people? Facebook groups, things like where do you interact? This is how you find real customers live. Not just research, but real research with real people. You have to understand your customer's mindset. And I've talked to you so many times about mindset because it is super important mindset. I'm not just saying it, it's super important. So who's here? Dale is here. Hi, Dale. Welcome. Great to see you. So glad you're here. Trekking Pals. Hi, guys. Great to see you. So glad you are here. And Stephen, can you exploit WAP for notoriety? You're going to need to give me a little more than that if you want an answer. But thank you for the question. I appreciate that. Okay, let's pop back. So now what do you do? You want to create videos that they relate to and want to share. And the reason that they want to be videos that are shareable is because those have the potential to go viral, but they're also the videos that people will share to someone else that might end up being interested in your channel and subscribing and viewing other videos. So shareable content is number one. Now I'm giving you a ton of resources here for you to go through on your leisure. So take a screenshot or come back and look at this again over and over and write it down because these are all ways to find a real audience, a real audience, not just like, you know, oh, this is my avatar and what do they look like and how old are they and blah, blah, blah. These are real people who are relating to the exact kind of thing that you are going to be doing on your channel. And this is how you find them. Number two, marry your product to a specific lifestyle. And what I mean by that is if you have a product that is exciting, is dynamic, is special in some particular way, make videos about it because this is what 
your viewer will love. This is your ideal customer and this is how you showcase your products without saying to people, bang, 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 here's my product, here's my product, right? It's a subtle thing and this is how it looks. So look at that and then look at this, the lifestyle wakeboarding off limits, right? So you know that this is a person who is into some extreme sports. What's the product? Do you even know what the product is? You're looking at a video about exciting things. The product could be the board. The product could be the sneakers. The product could be the clothes or the helmet or the tire or the band that he's holding. Do you even know what the product is? Maybe and maybe not, but you do know that the video is engaging, it's exciting, it's dynamic, it's something that you wanna watch. It may be educational, but it's definitely entertaining. So what can you do to marry your product to a lifestyle? Number three, market your brand everywhere, everywhere that you potentially can, because you've got to make your business name as visible as possible because who knows you? Who knows what the name of your business is? How do people find you? How do they discover you? You have to be in their face, right? You have to make it happen because if you don't make it happen, how are they going to find you? So what is the name of your business on YouTube, is it different from your actual business or is your channel name the name of your business, which is of course what I recommend always for business YouTubers. And then how do you get your name out there so that people start to recognize it? If you think about all of the brands that you are familiar with, you're only familiar with them because they marketed and advertised and promoted themselves and they married their product to something. And my most favorite of all time company to use, and you guys have heard this a million times, is Nike. And when you think of Nike, what do you think of? You think of athletes who are the top in their field, don't you? Because they have always married their products to a lifestyle. And the lifestyle is the best you can be in a sport. And it's sports. So you know when you see a Nike ad that you're looking at an athlete who is at the top of their game. And this is what I'm talking about. Marry your products to a lifestyle, brand yourself and get your name out there. Become more visible. You have to get your logo out there as well. Think about the Nike swoosh. You can just see that and you know it's Nike. You don't even have to see the name Nike to know it's that brand, right? So there are two ways you need to get yourself out there. It's not just your company name, it's also your dynamic logo. How do you do that? Well, you do that in events, sponsorships, meetings, groups, forums, social media, TV, newspaper, radio, podcasts, blogs. There are many, many ways for you to get yourself out there, you need to contact people, you need to give them reasons to promote your videos. And how do you do that? By helping them promote their content, okay? So you always wanna think about how you're helping the person you're asking help from. It's gotta be a win-win or it's not gonna work. Number four is to sell branded merchandise that your viewers relate to. And so what do I mean by that? Where do your viewers go? Do they go to events? What are the images from the events? Are there certain celebrities or well-known athletes or someone that's related to your content that they like? Are there slogans or taglines that you use? Is there something that you've said in your video that you can quote that people would relate to and want to say over and over again and want to show on branded merchandise. What about your logo? Is your logo something that is cool enough, interesting enough, dynamic enough that people would wear it? And what about trends and holidays? These are a great way for you to get yourself out there and build brand awareness and logo awareness. Number five, film exciting things. So, even if 
in the future, when you go to trade shows back in the time, you know, and back and forward to the future, when we're actually able to go and do things again with each other, which is a wonderful thing. Um, what? <laughs> right? <laughs> so when Sal and I used to go to trade shows, there were always things at trade shows that were exciting and interesting and dynamic and fun and funny and, and different from what we were typically seeing in our everyday life. And it's the reason why we went to the shows, right, honey? Well, yeah, plus the interaction with the people that were selling either the merchandise or the product right? or the, a, lot of, a lot of more prototypes of lots of uh, different new products. New products. So yeah. one of the reasons why, thank you, one of the reasons why it's important to get yourself out there as a business is so that more and more people know who you are. Okay, you know who you are, but how many people actually know who you are, your business, your brand, your logo, what is the lifestyle that you're marrying your products to, who is that customer that lives that lifestyle? Who are you? <laughs> who are you? <laughs> who are those people? So these are the things that you want to think about. You want to make your products or services mega, not just desirable, mega desirable, like uber amazingly desirable you want people to want them you want to do that with stories and actions that people can relate to in the lifestyle you want to do that with videos that talk directly to that lifestyle look at this dynamic thumbnail isn't this awesome what drives jack what am i looking at isn't that amazing? Is that a guy pushing a boat? I what? mean... What is that? It is. It's a boat. He's, He's flipping, flipping a, boat. a boat over. And so, why? Why are we looking why at this? Why is he flipping that boat? Why, <laughs> why is he flipping the boat? Don't you want to click the thumbnail and find out? And this is what I'm talking about. Look at this dynamic thumbnail. Look at the giant, bold text on top of it. You don't even need to look at the title to want to click it. It's already clickable. Hey, look who's here, Mike. Hi, Michael. Welcome. Glad that you're here, our web wildcatter. Thank you for being with us. We always is appreciate job? you. Is that his job? Is that his profession? Is he a professional boat flipper? Right. So these are things you want to know. What drives Jack? Then what? brand with stories and actions that are amazing. For example, world's happiest runner. What in the world does that mean? Like, why? <laughs> why is she the world's happiest runner? What makes her happy? Well, that's the story within the video that we want to find out, isn't it? And we see her name, Mira Rai, but do you know her? Do you know this woman? Are you intrigued? Do you want to know what she's about? What is this lifestyle? What is this story that's amazing that we want to find out about? Is one of her sponsors cannabis? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> now, so we want to make videos that inspire, motivate, create desire, move people to action. And this is an extremely important thing because you always want to move your audience to action. For example, for those of you that don't have a YouTube channel yet, what would I want you to do? Well, of course, I'd want you to take my masterclass on YouTube to help you get your YouTube channel up fast, right? It's six dynamic modules that teach you everything you need to know about getting your YouTube channel up quickly. And so what are the things that you can think about that your business is about that you can talk to your viewers about that will drive them to action because action is the bottom line right we want people to do something after they watch our video it's really good to include fun and humor and excitement and desire and surprise in your videos because if they're just ho-hum who's gonna watch them so today i have for you an amazing case study uh -huh. and this is not a typical 
meetup that I'm doing for you guys. This is not a typical how to do something that I'm doing for you guys because I'm using a case study that is all that. All five ways, crushing it unbelievably and knows exactly who their customer is and have created a brand around lifestyle so amazingly. And why am I showing this to you? Because I want you to think about your business, your YouTube channel, your brand, your logo. What is it that you do? Who is the viewer that relates to you? What is their lifestyle? And how can you make videos for them that will move them to action? And this is what I'm going to be showing you in this incredible case study. Have you ever heard of this man, Dietrich Mateschitz? Well, I had never heard of him, and yet he is, he is a billionaire because he created Red Bull. Now, he created Red Bull in 1987 after visiting Thailand and seeing a drink called Crating Dang. Crating Dang means Red Bull. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> it actually means Red Bull. And he tasted this drink. He couldn't believe how fabulous it was because it literally improved his energy. And he created Red Bull from that. He introduced it. Wait, I'm covering up. He introduced it at ski resorts. A year after. Okay, so he created it, right? And then he introduced it at Austrian ski, ski resorts. He marketed it the opposite of how they were marketing the same exact beverage in Thailand. They were marketing it in Thailand as an every person's drink, like an everyday worker's drink to boost your energy. No, he marketed it as a trendy upscale drink with premium pricing the exact same thing and he carbonated it so he did a couple of things that were really different to separate it from the drink in thailand what happens a year later it is the first carbonated drink in europe that is an energy drink in europe all of europe there is no competition and he creates a brand new drink category this is just background that i'm giving you because what he does with this is unbelievable. In 1988, he creates an extreme sporting event called the Red Bull Dolomite Man. Dolomite Man. Okay, he creates an event that his exact customer would want to go to. Okay. It works so incredibly well that he, over the years, has created all of these amazing events. Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series, Red Bull Air Race World Championship, Red Bull Crashed Ice. I mean, the names are crazy too, right? Red Bull Stratus, Mission to the Edge of Space. I mean, these are just, these are not typical and he created them. He created events and sponsorships and things that his exact audience would want to go to. International marketing from Red Bull targets young men because these are his exact customers, the ones that love extreme sports, the ones that are pumped by adrenaline, energy, excitement, creating events, okay? Turns out those people are his ideal niche. Who is your ideal niche? These are the things that you've got to think about when you're looking at this. Relate everything to yourself. Think about what are the events that you could create, even if it's webinars, even it's, you know, even if it's something that you can't do in person with people right now, what can you do with people right now that is dynamic, that is exciting, that your exact audience would love. What's the strategy? Well, their strategy was whatever our customer, our audience, our viewers' interests are, 
that comes first. And that's exactly what we are going to promote. That's exactly what we're going to make videos about. That's exactly what we are going to sponsor and the events we're going to create. Look at what they have done. This is all them. All of this is what Red Bull has created. They put their customer first, always. They're always their customer comes first, never them. The focus of the content is only on what will my customer enjoy, only. They don't just film something. You know, it's not a documentary. It's not a newscast. This isn't, oh, today we are at the races and we're going to see blah, blah, blah. No, they don't just film anything like that. They create an experience. This is all about experience. Something that is so magical, so exciting, so wonderful, so dynamic, that they have to share it with the people who love their products, right? They have to share it with them. And then those people wanna share it with everyone they know that loves this kind of stuff. They wanna talk about it, they wanna text about it, they wanna tweet about it, they wanna make videos about it, they wanna talk about it on their Facebook they actually sell the product themselves because they're super fans. So how does their YouTube channel, how do they use their YouTube channel to make money for their business? There are many ways that they do that, but one of the biggest ways they do it is they create, they created a series of entertaining documentaries, entertaining documentaries. So not just an, you know, an amazing educational documentary, but something that's so excited and so dynamic and so crazy that you've just got to watch it, right? It's not just about look at what this person did. Look at who this person is. It's all about, oh, oh my God, I can't even believe the things that I'm watching. I can't even believe the things that I'm seeing. It's so incredible. And when you think about your own products and services, and I'm gonna just pop back to Salome. When you just think about your own products and services, and you think about how can you relate that to your business, doesn't it make it seem like now your business could be extremely exciting? Like there could be a lot of things that you haven't thought about maybe right. yet, right? Right. That you could do for your customers. Like we know that you, the small business owners, the professionals, the creatives, the people who are out there working your butts off to make money, you know, the backbone of America, that's who we are, the, us, the small business owners. We know that you work super hard to make your business incredible. But you also are the only ones who truly know who your customer is, right? Who your customer base is, who your audience is. And so if you could make something for them that was amazing, exciting, fun. To make your customer have the best experience. Right, the best experience. And have fun. Right, and have fun doing yeah. it. So what is a slogan you could come up with? What is a tagline? Are there quotes, you know, things that, that you've said or that you've done that you can use in your business to make it something amazing and dynamic. Some of the most popular content on their YouTube channel are stunt videos because parkour is an extreme sport that they cover amazingly well. And this particular video, Free Running Munich Airport, is their top viewed video of all the videos on their channel and it got 142 million views 142 million views wow, a they reason. are an amazing marketing <laughs> machine i mean look at what they do right so can you do this for your business maybe they post their logo everywhere they are on top of everything that has to do with extreme sports because that's their customer i would look good in a blue halter top <laughs> you would <laughs> <laughs> so what they do is they sponsor athletes, of course, right? Athletes in extreme sports who then promote and market the product directly to the fans. It's a win-win for everybody. How can you do this? Well, what they did was they took a brand. They took a simple, I mean, really, what is this? Basically, when you think about it, it's a carbonated beverage. 
that has a few extra things in it that give you energy, okay? That's all it is. That's all it is. It's a liquid that gives you energy. It's not dynamic. It's not exciting. There's nothing really about it that's that great. It's not right? what it is. It's how you market it. I mean, that's wait, 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 wait. What, what did you say, again? honey? It's not what it is. It's how you market it. It's how you market it. Because what is it really? It I mean, my it, God, it, what is this? This is just a matter. cell phone. It's a logo. It's a label. And it's a way of life. It's a uh, If commercial. you market it right, if you right. market it right, it becomes so much more than just a product, just a beverage, just a carbonated beverage. It becomes a culture. It becomes a lifestyle. It becomes a part of your lifestyle. Hey, man, did you get your Red Bull? You know, people want to know. Like, did you get your wings? Because that's what their slogan and people is. Are like, yeah, I got, I got my Red Bull. I got my Red Bull. I got, I got it. I got it. I, got it. I know, but you oh. know, so yeah, it does pump you up. But a lot of what they're about is being pumped up and being excited and, it is. and you know, being like out there. And so for all of you who are thinking like, how can I relate this to my business and and whatever it is that I do and my products and my services? Think about this, right? Think about this. So YouTube was founded February 14th, 2005. That's when they posted their first video. And look at this. Original gangster, Red Bull, joins YouTube in 2006. How many big brands joined YouTube in 2006? Nike. Actually, Nike joined in December of 2005 because that's how OG they are. But look at this. I mean, they embraced every single way to market and promote themselves that they could possibly think of. And look at what they say across their banner. Welcome to the world of Red Bull, right? So think of ways that you can do this on your YouTube channel. Today, so fast forward 2006 to today, nine, almost 10 million subscribers, almost 10 million. Almost 5,500 videos. Look at how many views. 2.33 billion views. Billion, billion views, right? This is because they are using their channel to promote and market a culture and a lifestyle that draws in the exact audience they want to purchase their products to purchase their branded merchandise, to purchase Red Bull. Their video content promotes an extreme lifestyle. What is the lifestyle that you can promote? Look at this thumbnail, top five, most creative ski sessions ever, Red Bull Snow. And in six days, it got 100,000 views. Now I am going to pop over to a short video on Red Bull. And let me tell you that it seems like when I when I put videos up and if they have any kind of music that's um, copyrighted, I might have to, to like take the sound off. So for those of you that get to hear it, yay. <laughs> and I don't know, I might have to take the sound off this one too.
Okay, so this gives you a really good idea of the kind of videos that they do. They're amazing. They're scary, <laughs> scary as could be. What happens when a free runner loses his phone? Look at this amazing thumbnail. It's so great. I mean, look at Jason Paul smiling his head off and then doing crazy stunts. You can see that he's on the roof of some place in Hamburg, Germany. And this got 1.2 million views in just three weeks, right? So what is Red Bull promoting? What are they promoting? Are, they, are you seeing their product like smacking you in the face? Yes, he's wearing a baseball cap with Red Bull on it. Okay, I give him that. Yes, he has the logo on his shirt. Okay, I give him that. But other than that, he's not running with it in his hands. Look at this. Why is skydiving so popular? Skydiving is addictive, right? And then you've got crazy people jumping out of a plane. 129,000 views in five weeks. Are these the five craziest downhill mountain bike runs from Leo Gang Austria World Championships? 700,000 views in five weeks. So they're copy the words that they use promote exciting culture excitement amazingness they use really dynamic words like experience experience the world of red bull like you have never seen it before this is on their youtube channel original series for your stoke factor to be at an all-time high stoke factor right their content promotes the brand values. So all of this is not about their products, right? It's all about who is their audience? What does their audience want? What are they into? What is their lifestyle? This is a culture. Today, Red Bull sells seven over seven billion cans of Red Bull a year. Forbes has estimated their market value at $20 billion in 33 years, $20 billion in 33 years, okay? So started in 1987, 33 years later, look at them now. What did YouTube do? How did using YouTube help spread their brand values and their culture worldwide? Well, YouTube is in 80 countries, that's how. So this is their most watched video on the YouTube channel. This is, again, the same parkour guy, the same nut job that was on the roof in Hamburg, right? 142.6 million views of him running through the Munich airport trying to catch the plane. So do you wanna expand your, your sales area? Do you want to go from local to national to international? Do you wanna create shareable videos that have the potential to go viral. Do you want to brand your business as an experience with video as opposed to what? What are you doing in your videos now? Are you making them something that's a story? Are you creating a lifestyle, a culture? Is there something that you can do that will get your customers excited, that will get your audience more excited. Don't you want to gain new customers? Yeah, of course you do. Do you want to make money using YouTube? Yes, of course you do. Because you could be my next case study about how to use YouTube to make money for your business. Now, Every Thursday, we have started doing a YouTube series called Zazumi Review Me, and it's all about helping you improve your channel, your YouTube channel, with the four things that matter the most. Those are your channel topic, which is your banner, your trailer, the thumbnails that you use for your videos, and your titles. Those are the four things. So join us on Thursdays. And now to wrap it up, how to make money using YouTube for your business. There are five ways. The first one is make content that your customers love. Marry your product to a lifestyle and create a culture. Market everywhere that you can, that's number three. Number four is make 
branded merchandise that your audience relates to, that your customers relate to, that your viewers relate to. And number five, how can you become dynamic with sponsorships, events, endorsements? What can you do to ramp up your business? How can you be fearless, right? How can you do it? How can you be fearless? How can you make money on your YouTube channel? If you haven't taken my class, my YouTube masterclass, go to youtubebootcamp.com, click on courses, take it. Because you want to become one of these case studies on YouTube. You want to make the billion dollars. You want to grow your business and your brand. We can know with authority that you can do this because I have gone through the Google certification program to become a YouTube channel growth trainer. And if you want to hire us, go to youtubebootcamp.com services and hire us. And what is next? The next video for next Tuesday is how to make evergreen videos to make money. And I love this topic because evergreen means forever. Those videos will just keep making you money over and over and over again. And finally, as always, just be you on YouTube. Believe in yourself because you are amazing. You are incredible. You are awesome. And you can do this. Make your channel something. All right. Make your channel something that is an experience for your viewers. Figure out what is the lifestyle of your viewers and marry that to your products, your services, and your channel. And now we are gonna say goodnight. That was in honor of Red Bull. <laughs> and in honor of Red Bull, we are all wearing our, our bullish hike, Viking helmets. <laughs> <laughs> and my mother seems to have her horn turned sideways. Ma, your, your horn is turned sideways. Ma, your horn is turned sideways. Oh, what a clever, clever disguise that is, too. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> my mother's clever horns. disguise. Here we go. There, Ma. You're better in there. Okay, guys, we're going to give you our dating game goodbye. Thank you so much for joining us. If you haven't subscribed to this video, subscribe. I mean, to our channel, subscribe. If you like this video, you know I like those likes. So please like it. And thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. We are so glad you're here. Hi, Sheila. Great Thanks to see you all. Sheila. Thanks for coming. I know mom is a, she is a unicorn. <laughs> she is unlike anybody else. Thank you guys. We appreciate you. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great night. Ciao. Bye-bye.